Hey, what's going on, Z Nation? Zade here, ZSPN. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Lakers as it concerns some NBA trade rumors uh, surrounding the Lakers and Colin Sexton. That's right. Colin Sexton is being uh, in the rumor mill for a potential trade destination, and uh, one of the teams that the Lakers are evaluating is Colin Sexton as a potential trade destination uh, when it comes to the off season, and uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers have made it known that they want to uh, accept any offers that come their way when it comes to Colin Sexton, and you know, with that, they do, they just don't want to give him a a max contract because they don't believe his value is that high with them uh, when it's all said and done. Uh, but judging by what he's done for the past couple of years with the Cleveland Cavaliers, I mean, he has been a scorer for them, and he's a good shooter. And when it comes to a point guard that the Lakers are looking for, when it comes to finding a player who can uh, be a good playmaker and at the same time can shoot and score for you, uh, I believe they found that guy in Colin Sexton. Now, with that being said, I mean the Lakers have to look at what side of what kind of asset they can do to uh, to make it happen, because the only way, in my opinion, the Lakers can pull off a trade with the Cleveland Cavaliers for Colin Sexton is basically they need to do like a sign and trade type of scenario but I don't think a sign and trade scenario will work with the Lakers because of Dennis Schroeder. Dennis Schroeder has made it known that he wants to be uh, be a huge contributor to a, uh, a contender. Uh, well, if that's a playoff team or a championship team it sort of remains to be seen about that and um, you know he just made that known if somehow he if that's what it looks like and that's what his intentions wants to be now he did say he wants to come back to the Lakers but I don't think uh, any sort of uh, um, you know resolution of that be happening is going to happen for uh, Dennis Schroeder concerning of coming back to the Los Angeles Lakers but you know stranger things do happen when it comes to free agency and uh, you never know uh, the Lakers may keep him or not but you know um, with with a lot of rumors being out there when it comes to you know players like Colin Sexton and Kyle Lowry and you know even Lonzo Ball being part of the conversation for a certain replacement for Dennis Schroeder it's just not out of the question if the Lakers want to move on from uh, Dennis Schroeder so but with but the way what I was trying to say is is that you know uh, a trade Signing a trade type of scenario would be questionable if Dennis Schroeder does not want to, you know, go there. But, you know, still remains to be seen about that. But uh, I think that's the only way the Lakers can pull off a trade for uh, Colin Sexton. And I believe I read an article maybe a couple of days ago when it came to, uh, you know, if the Lakers want to or any sort of team wants to trade for, uh, you know, Colin Sexton. I believe Kevin Love would have to be part of the trade because you know they have uh, he has a big contract. I believe it's somewhere around like a three-year type of, of contract that he has, and he's making around like I don't know, like a 30, 30 million around that range. So uh, you know he has to the Lakers and all other teams really need to look at their options when it comes to that sort of uh, instance, and if somehow you know uh were they willing to accept you know kevin love in that sort of package deal for colin sexton and that sort of range and i and i believe the lakers can pull off a trade package when it comes to that but you know you have to make the money's match if you're going to if the if the cavaliers are going to mention that you know if we're going to make a trade kevin love needs to part be part of that trade and you know that sort of instance and uh, I just think that you know the Lakers in that sense uh, need to um, just see what they have see what sort of money match will be and and I think if they somehow do decide to trade and get Carl Sexton and Kevin Love um, you know they're gonna be hard capped which is gonna be very hard for the Lakers to build around LeBron and Anthony Davis when it comes to signing free agents now and I think uh, I think they're going to sign the only option they need to do is just sign uh, 
veteran minimums to certain players. And uh, I think they can try to work it out, but, you know, it's just that hard cap. And, guys, on just on a personal note, really, I mean, yeah, I, I would love to have Colin Sexton on the Lakers. But, you know, there are other point guards in this league where, you, you know, they can be a, the, the same type of player that Colin Sexton brings to the table as well. As I mentioned with uh, Kyle Lowry, I mean, he is a... A shooter, he's a scorer, but you know, due to his age, he, it may compromise that. But you know, it's better than nothing, you know, because he has playoff experience. He's a champion, so uh, that plays a huge role when it comes to that sort of instance. And I think that's a much easier way to do a sign and trade type of scenario because I think Dennis Schroeder would obviously, you know, like to be in Toronto and you know, team up with the players that's there, and uh, and I think they are a potential you know, playoff contending team. Now, I, I, I might be wrong with this. I think I think that they, they did not reach the playoffs uh, last season, but I, I might be mistaken with that. But, uh, but yeah, you have that sort of issue. Or not really an issue. It's just like, you know, you have that option, if you will. And I think that's the best route for the Lakers because I think Dennis Schroeder would probably accept that type of role but because but you know you just have to know about the status of Toronto if, if they are going to be playoff contending team or not so um, and then you know when I looked at the type of trade uh, package I mean you know you have to see what you have I mean I think you have to make the contracts match because Kevin Love's going to be part of that trade so you know you got to trade obviously they want Kyle Kuzma and part of that trade and uh, I think you need to add KCP part of that and uh, you know there is also this status about you know Montrez Harold being part of that trade but guys I'm gonna say this now I don't think any trade would happen if if uh, you know Montrez Harold will be part of that type of trade I think he just doesn't want to you know be traded somewhere so he can accept his uh, player option. He wants to get paid, and I think a team like uh, the Charlotte Hornets will be a type of destination that he wants to go to. Uh, you know, just some sort of playoff team that will, you know, need his services more than what the Lakers want. And uh, you know, if the Lakers had it their way, I think they would want to bring back. Montrez Harold, but I think he just wants another opportunity and a much better situation where he is more needed than uh, than you know what he got from the Los Angeles Lakers. So um, I just don't expect him to be part of a trade for uh, for the uh, package deal for Colin Sexton alongside uh, Kevin Love. So um, you know it's just it's just kind of hard. It makes things very complicated, and that's why I'm not really so high on the on this particular trade for Colin Sexton that's why you guys probably noticing that I uploaded this you know type of video probably two days later when it came out about this particular rumor I mean it's always been the rumor for almost like a month now but uh, the reason I didn't make this type of video is because I, I look at trades that are kind of realistic type of trade scenarios like a Buddy Heald type of example, a Kyle Lowry type of example, and also Russell Westbrook. I mean, that's also another type of scenario that could happen. I mean, you can obviously make the, the, the numbers match and if Dennis Shorter wants to go to Washington DC and become a playoff contender, I think he can alongside, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, Bradley Beal. So, uh, that type of scenario, I think it will work very well for, you know, him, and I think both sides will be happy. And then, you know, last my last video, I brought up Lonzo Ball, and uh, you know, it's kind of a same scenario when it comes to, you know, if the Lakers want to do a sign and trade type of scenario. But and you know, I just don't think that um, I believe uh, Dennis Schroeder wants doesn't want to go to. New Orleans. I mean, he wants to be part of a contending team. That's why I think a third team should be involved when it comes to a sign and trade type of scenario. If the Lakers want to, you know, trade for Lonzo Ball, or they can obviously get him in free agency. But you know, it sort of depends on what the Lakers have money-wise to give Lonzo Ball. So, um, so yeah, I probably just went on a you know, like, like a just a huge. I don't think it's a rant. I, I just think that, you know, it's just a whole segment about it. 
when it comes to this type of trade scenario uh, for the Lakers realistically what they can do but you know Colin Sexton is a good example if they want to do a trade with the Cavaliers but you know it just makes things so complicated to package a trade together you know to get Colin Sexton and also uh, you know Kevin Love so uh, but if they can just get him by himself I think it'll be easier, but, you know, I think the Cleveland Cavaliers want to get a lot of value out of uh, Colin Sexton if they are going to trade him. So, um, and, you know, it's, it, the Lakers are just valuing the, uh, the search situation uh, with uh, Colin Sexton and the Cleveland Cavaliers about trade-wise, and, um, you know, it just kind of makes things very difficult to make things matches and... Uh, uh, you know, with contracts and stuff like that. So um, it's just so hard to tell. It's, it's just a whole different uh, type of situation. And in my personal sense, as I mentioned, I think the Lakers should look at other options when it comes to that uh, moving forward into the uh, off season and when it comes to trade-wise. So um, they could pull something off, as I mentioned. So, um, you know, Buddy Heald and stuff. So... Um, we just have to see what the Lakers' mindset will be when it comes to that. Uh, I mean, as I mentioned in my last video, uh, you know, the free agency market is just in a couple of weeks. And, you know, sort of depends on what the Lakers are going to be looking for when it comes to building around LeBron and Anthony Davis. Um, I gave my thoughts when it came to free agents, who the Lakers should sign uh, when it comes to the Lakers salary cap wise uh, with their situation. Uh, there's a mid-level exception, there's veteran minimums, and uh, hopefully, you know, when it's all said and done, the Lakers uh, do something to, you know, find a way to build this team to the best of their, uh, to the sense of helping LeBron and Anthony Davis as that uh, championship type of contending team so uh, we just have to see what's in store when it comes to Rob Palenka and his mindset going into the off season and free agency and uh, you know so remains to be seen about that uh, 22nd overall pick I mean I think there's a good chance that they will trade it but you know I won't be surprised if they use it so just to you know build a team around the young players like THT and you know, Isles Caruso when it comes to re-signing them in the free agency market. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot of things the Lakers are going to do when it comes to that particular time of what they need to do. And like always, I will deliver you all everything that goes down when it comes to the Los Angeles Lakers and their, uh, you know, roster situation and just building around LeBron and Anthony Davis um, moving forward. And I really want to know your thoughts and your opinions when it comes to uh, you know, trade rumors, and do you guys agree that the Lakers and Colin Sexton, do you think it's a good move, or do you think it's a bad move? I mean, personally, I'm kind of neutral right now uh, because of it, uh, because of how to make a trade package happen when it comes to Colin Sexton. I mean, he'll be a great player to have, but, you know, you need to realize that, you know, if the Lakers are going to make a trade, uh, you know, they need to make contracts match, and I think Kevin Love will be part of that trade if somehow they're going to make things happen. And as I mentioned, you know, the hard cap will really hurt the Lakers when it comes to that. So, you know, it's kind of a huge problem and crisis when it comes to the Lakers in that sort of instance. Uh, but you never know. Maybe Kevin Love will be a much different player when he's in a different uh, situation and being in L.A., teaming up with LeBron and stuff like that again. So, you know, you never know. You never know. Things may be kind of different, but, you know, still remains to be seen because we don't know that. So it's been a couple of years since, you know, Kevin Love was ever relevant because he was always with a bad team for these past couple of years. So uh, probably since um, they won a championship, so in 2016. So uh, give me your thoughts about it, guys. Please comment down below, like, subscribe to the channel, share my videos, and please give me your thoughts about a type of trade scenario. Uh, what do you have in mind that the Lakers can do that's realistic and you know that's just uh that's something that they, needs to happen in the off season um who do you think the Lakers should trade for um you know I gave my thoughts about the type of trade scenarios uh and I added you know Lonzo Ball into this into this uh, type of trade scenario if the Orlando not Orlando uh, um the uh, New Orleans Pelicans are you know interested in making a trade with the Los Angeles Lakers again you know 
you know the Lakers requiring uh, you know Lonzo Ball. I think it will be the best fit. I made a video about that. Uh, go check it out. It was, it was my last video that I made before this one. So uh, give me your thoughts about it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Make sure to like all my social media sites, ZSPN on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and also like my podcast ZSPN on Anchor. It is on also is also on uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Breaker, Radio Public, and. Uh, you know, and I, you know, I just want to know your thoughts and your opinions about it, and uh, show me the love, and support for my social media sites, and of course, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Go Lakers! Take it easy, guys. Stay safe out there.